welcome Pisces I'm Brenda Brenda Tarot and I'm here again today to bring you your angel tarot and oracle card reading for the week of December the 9th to December the 16th 2019 again I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing liking sharing but most of all subscribing to them if you're new to me, be sure to click the bell button next to, next to subscribe and you'll get notified immediately when any of my cards are out here on YouTube for you to view. This is a collective and general reading. That means every single card will not resonate with every single Pisces out there on the planet, but some of it will. So run with it and throw the rest out into the universe. If you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, then I welcome you to click the little icon in the top right-hand corner of this video, and it will take you right into my website where you can see the services that I offer. All the other information is posted below this video. So today, again, the Celtic cross layout here. This is the all-over crowning energy that is crowning this reading. This is coming in below you, the energy coming in above you, the energy coming in behind you, and the energy coming in towards you. Oh, wow, Pisces, this is great. You've been given the Ace of Ariel, which is the Ace of Pentacles, and this is all about making this your lucky day. You know, you've got new resources coming into you, and for some of you, it's going to be in the form of money. Pisces, we've talked about this. You're doing the due diligence. You're doing the work. You're focusing on what it is you want when it comes to the financial sector of your life. Some of you have gone out and you're self-employed. Some of you have just worked hard towards an endeavor, some sort of a project, something like that that's going to bring you in abundance and generally it comes in the form of time effort or support and money so this is your lucky day and these resources are going to be coming into you so this this reading circulates around the abundance that's coming into you this week you may get a change in a job you may be changing something up with your job you may be adding something new to your career to your job some of you may be getting recognized for that hard work that you do and that means you may be getting a raise you may be getting a promotion coming in below you pisces you've been given the five of michael better known as the five of swords and this is all about challenges and conflicts and sometimes we feel lost at that time and you need to tap into your your creative adventurous side okay right now um, fives are about changes and you need to become more outgoing and explore the questions and motives of other people this is about making changes that are going to suit you but you this this situation here may not serve you okay because it shows you that you're going to win the war but you know is it worth the effort was it worth that the all the trial and the grief that went on for you to finally at the end win so think about that sometimes compromise Pisces is much better where you can come to an amicable decision okay where there's compromise in it I want you to release any attachment to the outcome okay let it go don't hold it don't harbor it and don't grieve over it anymore I want you to consider taking a more uplifting approach if someone's coming in and causing a challenge for you this week I want you to look at it and say okay there's nothing I can do about this and don't try to control things you can't control Pisces okay this is about you controlling only what you can change and you can control temperance take your time don't jump in Pisces don't jump into that quicksand with both feet and then try to swim your way out of it this is the solutions card and this is about success that comes from being objective okay sometimes again I talked about compromise with the five of swords there so you know this is about you demonstrating your self-control and patience sometimes we have to do this in a forgiving manner maybe there's something that came up in this battle here in this debate here in this challenge here that you were facing with someone else or others and you now have to realize that maybe you need to uh, you know forgiveness forgive it forgiveness of yourself Pisces or forgiveness of someone else so it will help you heal through any situation take your time Pisces if you've had some challenges this week I know I sure have because I've had a husband in the hospital for 10 days and you have to be there and be an advocate and be proactive because these nurses and medical staff are so pushed they don't know which ends up half the time and so you need to be there so I was wearing many hats and running and running and running every day and I found that challenging but I learned not to lock horns with the medical staff I learned to be amicable I learned to be more um, objective I learned to be more understanding and I took my time thinking about how hard 
that situation was for others. And you may be dealing with situations this week yourself where you have to take an objective look at why they that why things are falling in line the way they are and and you know you you don't want to lock horns with someone and then have regret later but you have that ability and we've been talking about this the magician you have this ability pisces to pretty much manifest whatever it is you want and it's going to come in because this is your year and next year to see the fruits of your labor come in and that is time effort support and money and you're going to be able to manifest the things that you want in your life. So, you know, this is all about successful beginnings. Realizing that, you know, you're going to turn the page. You've already started to do that. You've made the changes, Pisces, that you need to, to make your life move forward. Some of you, it was in relationship situations. Some of you, it's in the financial sector of your life. Others, it's maybe to do with your health and your well and welfare there. Coming towards you is change. This is the two of Ariel, and it's important to have balance when we're trying to juggle things. And again, I talked about juggling, didn't I? And this is all about working multiple jobs and projects. So I don't want you to tire yourself out, Pisces. Don't get, get yourself down. You're doing a great job. It's going to show here. You know, you're seeing the, the abundance coming into you. So don't let it get to you, okay? You're going to be able to juggle. The, you know, whatever it is you're juggling, whether it's your career and your home life together or whether you're juggling many different jobs, you're wearing many different hats, you're having to do many different things all at once. Try to get your rest in between. Try to pace yourself, Pisces. Try to uh, take light of it. Don't let it stress you out. Just go, you know what? It'll get done when it gets done. Okay. And you'll get it done, Pisces, for sure. Um, you know, I want you to make fun and make light of what's happening around your life. Take a lighter look at things. Take a more joyful look at things. Take a more grateful look at things, Pisces. Uh, you've been, you know, some of you have been pulled, uh, you know, and put, prodded and pushed uh, to the point where you're feeling a little stress. Let it go. Throw it out into the universe, Pisces. Let it go. You have someone here that's going to support you. She could be a friend, your mother, your sister, an advocate of some sort. Uh, that's going to be there for you. She truly cares about you. She comes with the gift of her friendship, her love, her understanding. Oh, Pisces, you're so lucky to have this person in your life. I want you to, uh, you know, look deep, okay? Maybe you need to take a deep look at soul level of yourself. What's going on within yourself? What is it you want, Pisces? And work on it, okay? Because it's showing the fruition coming in because you, you're doing that work. But also you may need to read the fine print. There may be something that you need to be sure you're reading Cross your T's and dot your I's before you end up signing something you will regret. Your ship's coming in, Pisces. Don't be afraid. I talked about this with the Ace of Pentacles. I talked about this with the Magician. Things are coming in, okay? Your ship's coming in. You're going to see the, 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 the fruits of your labor. And again, I say that it could be time off. It could be someone coming in to support you with a situation. And it could be money coming into you. Some of you may be going on a trip. It is December. You may be traveling to see family and friends. Uh, it may be over a large body of water. You may be going in a ship or you may be going on a plane. It could be for vacation as well. The only thing that holds you back, this is the moon Pisces, you are the moon Pisces, is yourself, okay? Don't allow uh, your sensitivity to, to get the better of you because Pisces, you are the most sensitive sign on the zodiac and that's beautiful. But you need to find out what's going on because often the moon refers to uh, secrets or things in the background that you don't know about that you need to find. Because once you do and you find what it is that you need to know, Pisces, you'll be able to look at the entire the entire zodiac here. You're going to be able to look at look up there and see the whole picture. Coming in now with your tea leaf messages, you've got dagger. You've got fears, worries, ten, about tense situations. And I believe it, Pisces. I know I did this week. This was kind of a challenging week for me. Maybe it was for others as well, okay? Don't allow that, that, that the, the moon energy. I mean, I mean, it's always darkest before the dawn. Don't allow that moon energy to get you down, okay? Uh, you know, this was, you know, don't worry. Let that worry go, Pisces. And you'll, things will work out better this week. Let it go. You got the ink pot. Problems to be resolved. So, you know what? You've had some issues. Maybe they're not completely over this week, Pisces. But you're, you know what? This is all wonderful energy here throughout the tarot reading here. So, know that things will work out in your favor. Okay? I don't see anything bad coming into this. 
reading. You've got coins. Money will be coming to you. We talked about that here with the with the two pentacle cards here and the magician. So you can manifest what it is that you want. Just stop holding yourself back, Pisces, and worry a whole lot less this week. Coming in with your final oracle message. What is it, Pisces, that you need to surrender to? Wow, surrender to success. Told you. You are ready to experience abundance, Pisces. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. Change is coming in here, okay? You're going to make the changes that you need to make so that things work out in your favor, and it will. Beautiful. Accept the success that's coming into you, and it's only because you've made and done the work. Now, these are our new cards that I made up called Focus. And this is about what you need to focus on this week, Pisces. Divine Spirit said, you know what? You need to make up a focus desk for people. That one came out for the last reading, so we're going to do this again. Pisces, unless that's what you need to get, it'll give it to you again. So we need, there we go, there we go, we've got one card down here. What do you need to focus on? Today being a brand new day. Okay, you've had your problems here. You've had a few little challenges here, but today's a brand new day and look at it this that way, okay? That you can make the changes that you need to make to turn any situation around because you can be like the magician and manifest. Just like magic, you're gonna make it happen. Beautiful, beautiful. Today is a brand new day, Pisces. Make the best of it and know that you can make the changes to make yourself happy and things work out in your favor. Ships coming in. Stop holding yourself back. You've got help here. Make sure you get all the information. Wow. Okay, Pisces, this is your reading for the week of, as I said, December the 9th to the 16th, 2019. And again, I wish you a great remainder to today, Pisces, and a beautiful, optimistic week here to look forward. Just remember, Pisces, this is our year and next year as well to see the success come in that we've been so yearning for. And remember, the universe and the divine, your higher power, wants you to succeed and find your happiness and peace. So Pisces, surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and your happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, my beautiful fish, my beautiful mermen and mermaids. This is the circle that I stand in for you only and I will see you soon.